The SIU, together with the Hawks, pounced on the offices of the National Lottery Commission just after 8 a.m. Documents, computers and hard drives were seized. The team then went to the house of the implicated officials, who are apparently partners, and seized more documents and personal computers. They are alleged to have approached MPOs, lured them to apply for funding in exchange for kickbacks. Once they have applied, then they get a cut of 30% that is shared between the officials that are here and the runner that they have. And, and that is a, an operation that has been going on for a while and it has happened to many of the, uh, the contracts that were given out from this office. Several million rands are involved in the scheme. The SIU says once investigations are concluded, it will recover the money. We cannot at this stage quantify the amount, but obviously you would know that it's a lot of money that, that is involved because uh, the, the funding that comes from here is in millions. Therefore, if they are getting 30% of all the funding that is happening here, it's really a lot of money. The SIU says allegations of corruption at the National Lottery runs deep and affects nearly all offices around the country. The SIU says since they started this investigation in 2020, They've received new allegations that they have to investigate almost weekly. But they still hope to get a report to the president before the end of the year. Ulrich Hendricks, SABC News, Kimberley, Northern Cape.